Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Pisces. Let's see what messages will come up for you guys. What do we have for Pisces? In case this resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves. Outcome of ice, love, notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. I'll be leaving the link in the description box below for you guys if you want. Let's see, what do we have for Pisces, please? What do we have for Pisces? gets even more <laughs> okay so Pisces from what I see I feel like you're dropping something you're letting go of a person and the situation doesn't make you as sad as it used to um, you're seeing the situation for what it is you're not wanting to indulge in you know any sort of this um, game playing energy uh, but there is a sense of restlessness. I feel like there's something new that you want to do with your life, whether that be you want to change your career path or you have this motivation to start something new. But you're feeling a bit confused as to where to begin. Okay, so it looks like there's something new that you're really wanting to do, but there's a sense of confusion attached to it, especially if it's a money related situation. I do feel like you're not wanting to indulge in somebody's games anymore. Um, mm -hmm. well Pisces I will see what this is oh okay bottom of the deck we have ace of wands with the queen of wands forward movement lots of passion finding your confidence now one thing I am getting here Pisces is that um Where do I even begin with this one, man? There is there is something that is blocking you. Like you know some sort of a hidden truth here, but your fears are blocking you. Um, and I feel like some of you are having difficulty in... Um, there's a sense of confusion, okay? That you need to get out of, okay? So we will see what this energy is representing in a bit though. Let's clarify things for you. Five of Cups reverse, the Five of Swords reverse and the Four of Swords reverse. Letting go of the past burden. I feel like you're not gonna be playing those mind games anymore. Um, and honestly, I feel like you're getting over it, okay? Right now, your focus is on handling something legal in your life. It could be money related or it could be something else. It's just that you're trying to balance your energies. You're trying to focus on things that make you happy. With the magician energy, this also talks about manifesting what you desire. It's a very powerful energy, okay? Now, when it comes to your relationship situation, looks like in the past, you were very hopeful um, you were showing up, you were offering something, but the other person was acting like, oh, give me some time, I'm going to be back. They were always confused or keeping you waiting. So you were seeming to be the one who was offering more and the other person was seeming to be the one maybe they were giving you their attention and stuff, but I feel like there was a sense of confusion. Like this person didn't really know what they wanted. They wanted you, but when it came to stability, it wasn't really there. Now, the thing is that this relationship situation is full of distractions and confusion, okay? That is why we have the devil energy. This is something that keeps you stuck. That devil could represent a lot of energies. Um, it is a sense of feeling stuck somewhere, okay? We will see what this is about. King of Swords reverse, Five of Swords reverse, Pisces. Somebody is seeing your cold side now, okay? I feel like you're, you have turned your back from somebody. Okay, and also looks like Pisces, you're, <laughs> it's a very cutthroat energy. 
honestly. I hope that if this person texts you, they say better say something nice and honest. Because I feel like if somebody's gonna try to play you, you're gonna clap back. And I really feel like that is your attitude towards many other things in your life. It's like you're just tired of people and their games and their this and their that. You're not wanting to indulge in it at all. You're not wanting to be a part of it whatsoever. Okay. Now, one thing you have to be careful of is making an old story a part of your future. Okay, something that is long gone, you know, you letting it be a part of your future as well. Just be mindful of that energy. There's a sense of deceit here. Okay. Um, I also feel like Pisces, you, you just want to be at peace. You just want to be at peace. I see you moving forward, but I also feel like you're feeling restless and that that is, you know, the quest for peace. Um, you're really, you know, it's like taking a look at your life and being like, oh, you know, this doesn't really work out for me and, and it has never worked out for me. So what is the point of me continuing with this or keep doing this and for what? That is the thing. You don't want to be doing something that you've done before and you don't want to certainly be repeating your past situation over and over and over again. To me, it looks like there is this, there is this loving energy that you have, but you're keeping it controlled. You know, you, you're not wanting to give in a certain situation because you feel like, honestly, you don't see a certain situation as it's a win-win situation, okay? So let's see. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. The chariot. The chariot. Forward movement. Oh, Pisces. So hard to let go of this person. So hard to let go of this person. There's a sense of codependency here. Oh, it's like your intuition screamed at you to let go of them, but you didn't. Now I feel like with the Chariot and the Five of Cups energy, I see you moving forward. I see you moving past this energy, if I'm going to be very honest with you. Why the Five of Swords reverse? Page of Cups. I feel like you're wanting to open up to love again. You definitely are. And moving forward, onwards and upwards, determined. Right now you're feeling like you can achieve anything. <laughs> anything. You know and you're strategizing something as well i feel like there's a bit of that energy pisces of showing somebody what they truly did to you so it's a little bit of like mirroring their behavior some of you are stressed out about work or a new project a new business venture I feel like that is really all that you have going on for now. You're not really focused on people, socializing, all that. You're focused on yourself, your money, which is good, your confidence, and wanting to let go, okay? But the thing is that you need a break, Pisces. You need a break. Some of you cannot sleep properly or you, you have some eating thing going on. It's either that you're eating too much or you're not eating at all. There's, there's no middle ground for that as well as your rest, you're not resting enough. Um, tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Oh, the Six of Wands reverse. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles. Oh. I feel like one person here was admiring the other person and the other person was taking them for granted. And I also feel like Pisces, you don't like people who are stuck up. You don't like people who, who seek attention. And you don't want somebody who is very superficial because it looks like you dealt with somebody who was very superficial. Like, it's almost like there's somebody who showed you that they have a lot to offer when they didn't. And you're so, like, over it, okay? You're wanting to find your confidence and yourself. Again, Queen of Wands is your overall energy, which is a very confident energy, by the way. I'm very curious to get to the King of Swords reverse. Why are you this way? I want to know. 
Nine of Swords reversed with the Six of Cups. Looks like Pisces, it's, it's like you're making peace with the past. You remember them, you remember the memories. There's somebody you're missing who used to be maybe your childhood friend or some of you maybe are missing a pet or maybe you have a pet that you're very attached to. There's something from the past that you still remember, but you cannot let it consume you anymore, okay? So that is that justice energy balancing things out. By the King of Cups. I heard controlled, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you're working on your independence, you're working on your goals. I feel like you have learned your lesson that you shouldn't be the one who is overly putting in the work and the other person is just like taking and taking and taking from you. So you have learned your lesson to not do that. You have learned your lesson to maybe stop doing that even. You know? Financial independence or focused on money. Some of you are wanting to stay single. You know your worth. Four of Wands and the Magician. You're manifesting something big, Pisces. You're manifesting something very stable and something very big. It could be connected to a home. It could be connected to anything else really, but it could be connected to a home from what I see. Okay. Or your work maybe, because I so see you focused on your work. Magician and the four of wands. Some of you are trying to manifest a relationship even Something to celebrate, Pisces. You'll get a good news or something to celebrate. And this is something that you have consciously or un unconsciously manifested in your life. So there is something good coming in for you guys. Tell me about the Seven of Wands reverse for Pisces. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Well, for the relationship, it looks like somebody's holding back and there's like no hope and stuff, Pisces. I mean, every time you think about giving a situation another chance, you feel like it's not really going to go anywhere. And it's like your intuition is screaming at you to not do this for some reason. Okay. The star reverse. Mm -hmm, Pisces, this talks about losing hope. Too many distractions. Too many. Tell me about their person's energy a bit. The tower. And the emperor. This person has, oh, this person could be a businessman or a woman. Eight of cups reverse with the two of cups reverse. Three of wands reverse. I feel like the situation has fallen apart between you and them. But the thing is that they may seem like they're walking away from you. But I really don't think that that is the case, especially with the Two of Cups reverse here, with the Eight of Cups reverse. There is love here, but there is a sense of disconnect. Maybe for some of you, you have not communicated with this person in a long time. And, you know, there's that feeling of, oh, you know, even if I connect with this person, is it going to go anywhere? One thing I am getting is that this person is unable to let you go, but this is something that they're avoiding, okay? So this is like avoiding something that is very obvious. <laughs> Whatever it is. I feel like for some of you, this person also avoided you or ignored you in the past. They would act like they haven't seen your text messages and stuff, you know? Oh, and now it looks like Pisces, this person's trying to ignore you whilst still looking at your social media. So it looks like it's a front that they're putting and it's, it's like, this person has control issues, okay? They don't like to show their vulnerable side. They, one more thing I'm getting, Pisces, is that they can offer you more than what they were offering you, but they just didn't, okay? So what does that end up in? It ends up in a situation where you felt like you were taken advantage of, and that's why I can guess you're in the King of Swords reverse. I heard that you're tired of betrayal from friends, from relationships, or people using you for stuff. King of Swords reversed with the Wheel of Fortune. Pisces, I feel like you're surrendering. You're letting go. This is something that you're like, you know what, whatever. If this doesn't work out, then whatever. I don't, 
have hope that it will and I'm not trying to fix it either. If this person has ego issues, then fine, they can stay over there with those. So I feel like you're finally accepting that and you know, this is a sense of moving forward and you're very clear about it. Almost like a little bit borderline, like, I'm gonna be honest, borderline a bit mean about it, Pisces, okay? You're mean about moving ahead, which is fine because I feel like this person has been mean to you as well. Some of you just don't wanna be nice to them anymore. <laughs> don't wanna be nice to them anymore for whatever reason. So anyway, tell me who has broken your heart so bad or made you feel so cornered that you just don't wanna be dealing with that. There's a sense of anger. There's a sense of, oh, you know, stay away from me kind of an energy that I'm getting for you guys. What is the moon reverse? Ten of wands. Why the devil? Our friends. For some of you, this person had a hard time with commitment. Mm, judgment reverse. Pisces, it's time to release something. It's time to release something. It's time to let go of confusion and make a head over heart decision with something. Because I really feel like this is representing that there is a situation that is not hidden anymore. So use that. Ten of Wands, there's a burden that you need to release. For some of you, you need to take a rest. You need to take a break. You need to take care of yourself. Because there's too much burden on you right now. Work-related, other responsibilities, I don't know what this is, but looks like you just need to take a break. Other than that, I feel like you're fine. Your energy is fine, okay? Devil and the Hierophant, one thing I'm getting is that this person, whoever you dealt with, had problems with commitment. And another thing I'm getting here is that somebody here promised you something that couldn't be given, which I said before as well. So be mindful of something because this is something that may happen in the future. This is somebody who is pretending like they can offer you a lot, but they don't have anything to offer. So this could be your past person or somebody new. Tell me more about this. The devil and the hierophant. What is this? The hierophant is hierophant itself, but the devil is like using um, that part to manipulate and control another person. Knight of Pentacles. Pisces, I'm getting somebody's not who they seem to be. It could be a love-related situation, work, I don't know. Pisces, you need to be very aware of the people that you're dealing with at this time. Especially if it's relationship-related. Yeah, two of pentacles. This person looks like they're like, you. I can offer you all that. But then what they can offer you is nothing but the two of pentacles, that juggling, confusing energy. Get unstuck. Your advice is to get unstuck. It's time to get unstuck. Maybe you need to let this go. But this is something that can manifest in the future. So it looks like there is this energy around you of somebody who tends to confuse you or can wrap you up in their words. And there's a very addictive devil-like energy attached to it. And your advice here is to get unstuck from this. Your advice here is to drop this burden. I'm seeing this more of a hindrance. This is more of a, you know, this hindering energy because your own energy is very much moving forward. You don't care about the past or as much as you did at least. Maybe you do, but you don't care as much as you used to. But there's that devil energy kind of like luring you in. Eight of Cups. Yeah, walking away is your best bet here, Pisces. I'm going to be very honest with you. There's somebody who's just not good for you and it's time to get unstuck and move on from this why because you're manifesting the magician and the four of wands this is happiness good news forward movement stability but it's all coming in when you're also letting go of the burden <sighs> queen of wands is a very confident energy this is giving you that boost of confidence give your relationship a chance somebody may try to come back and you know 
make it seem like they're so serious maybe they are i don't know you just gauge the situation according to whatever you know is going on in your life or if you trust them or no but it does look like pisces there's somebody who's gonna come back attraction i really feel like there are multiple people attracted uh, towards you right now pisces unrequited love yeah something is very one-sided very very one-sided and i feel like that one-sided love situation can come back the person who was acting like all that and now they may come back and i feel like it's hard for you to say no to this person somehow you know so as much as I see that cutthroat energy of you just wanting to leave them behind, somehow, somewhere, some way, this person is able to get to you. That's why it's the devil. I heard stay true to your values. A personal issue reaches resolution, cancer energy. Something is going to get resolved, especially if you've had some stuff going on that seemed like it's not going anywhere what do you need to release and communication is the key now i do see communication coming through but there's a need for you to express as well it's time to take action and what do you need to release there's definitely something that you need to release pisces and get unstuck with the hangman reverse and the ten of wands you need to let go that is a very repetitive message Looks like there's something much better in the future for you. That's about it, Pisces. Those were the messages that were out for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out the extended link below to find out how's your person thinking and feeling about you. Their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. I'll be linking it below. Take care and bye-bye.